Hi folks. Hey, welcome to my elk rifle. This little beauty is one of my favorites and it shoots a half inch. That's why I stuck this tracked scope on it. Now, the good folks at Tracked asked me to review this scope, so they sent a loaner out for me to review. And I have found that this is pretty much measuring up to all of the Tracked scopes and binoculars that I've tested over the years, which is just top-notch quality all the way. This one is different from one like it that I'd reviewed before. That one had a first focal plane shutter. This one has a second focal plane shutter, and that's one of the main differences between them. But this one also has parallax adjustment and an illuminated reticle. So it has a ballistic drop reticle in it, and you can adjust that reticle for whatever you shoot by going to their website and punching in your prominent data, and it'll tell you exactly where your extra sub reticles are hitting. So I set mine up, for instance, to go at uh, 260 for my maximum point blank range right in the middle. And then my next hash mark down just happened to be 349, which is about the range at which I need to start compensating my holding over. So I've got the second reticle for 350, essentially. The next one just happened to come in at 448. That's 450. And the next one was 550. Well, what a sweet system. The neat thing is I could go all the way out to 800 and some yards just with the sub reticles. And that's way farther than I'm ever going to be shooting on a hunt. If you don't like ballistic drop reticles, you can dial this thing. And even though they have covers, which I like for hunting so things don't get bumped. If you prefer to dial, you can take the cover off and dial. It's MOA and very precise. I mounted this as best I could on the bench as steadily as I could. I'll show you what some of the dial-ups look like, but boy, even though the camera doesn't see it quite the way I do it uh, when I'm shooting it and adjusting it, it, it's just absolutely precise. Four clicks at 100 yards moves me an inch, one MOA. Do four, five, six of them MOAs right back to the center, up, down, left, and right all the way. It's got a heck of an adjustment range, too. This thing will dial up and up and up and up until you're 100 minutes of angle of adjustment in this. And then you can add in your ballistic reticle for another. Oh, my goodness, you're going way out there. As I said in a blog I wrote on this, it's like halfway to the moon. So on the windage... It is also MOA adjustable if you like to dial for wind. I don't. I prefer the reticle. And the nice thing is they have MOA marks in the reticle. The horizontal reticle has some marks. And then the sub reticles have little dots that represent 10 mile an hour winds off on the side for each one of them. So it's really quick to use in the hunting field. Now the size is a 30 millimeter tube and that gives you that incredible adjustment range. Doesn't make anything any brighter. Brightness of course comes from the objective. I'll open this action for you. So the 44 millimeter objective, I think that's about as big as I wanna go on a hunting scope. I'll do anywhere from 32 on up to 44. And after that, I just don't see a heck of a lot of game unless you're shooting at, let's say, the last few minutes of light and you need to see a dark deer coming out of a dark shadow, this thing's more than going to do the job. This is an extremely bright scope and the reason is because it not only has shot high transmission glass in it and an ED lens up front to control color fringing, but it's fully multi-coated. That means every air to glass surface has multiple layers of anti-reflection coatings, and that is what maximizes light transmission. So gosh, whether I'm sitting at 15 power or dialing down, I've just got plenty of exit pupil size to handle the lighting situations I might come up against in the field. It's a bit heavy for my preferences on a scope. This thing feels like a, I don't know, I, you could almost use it like a baton. I said once, if you didn't, uh, get your deer by shooting it, you could bash it with this scope, and I don't think it would bother the scope at all. It's around 28 ounces, but man, it's just built like a tank, so I think it's going to last and last and last. One of the things I did with this particular scope rifle setup is that this is a, a really lightweight rifle from HS Precision, Rapid City, South Dakota, chambered for the 300 WSM, and as you can see, it's got a really light barrel, really thin, plus it's fluted but it still shoots half MOA, so I don't care how light and fluted it is. This would be sort of my ultralight elk hunting rifle. But what I've discovered as I've gotten older is, as much as I like to carry a really lightweight rifle, a heavier scope on top settles it down a little more, absorbs more of that recoil. So that's why I'm thinking this might work on this gun. What I gain by going with a really lightweight stock and barrel in a light rifle, 
I add that weight back in with the scope and I'm still lighter than most factory rifles, most factory bolt rifles. So system works for me. What else can I tell you about this scope? It just is extremely precise and that's what I really love about it. And I don't know what else you would want in a hunting scope except for the illuminated reticle. And I have never been a really big fan of illuminated reticles, but my wife absolutely loves them. So she's got me started using them. And I've got to admit, it has sort of a psychological benefit. When you see that little glowing red on your target, you know you're there. And with a multiple ballistic drop compensating reticle, sometimes you can get confused about which line to use. I haven't really noticed that in this one because they're far enough apart, but boy, turning that, right, that red light on really helps. And it's got 11 different adjustment stages on here. And in between each of them is the off button. So you don't have to dial all the way around to turn it off. It's real easy to just make one quick little move and it's off. Battery life will go for 300 hours plus, I imagine. So they pretty much thought of everything. Obviously, they've got your quick adjust diopter on the eyepiece. But it's not real loose. It's pretty tight. And I like that because once you've dialed it for your eye, you don't need to accidentally bump it and then everything's out of focus. So beyond that, I don't know what I can tell you on these track scopes, except for they stand behind them. They guarantee uh, you're gonna have a good satisfactory experience with it, whether it uh, functions to your liking or not, they'll make it right for you, I guess. You know, if anything breaks or malfunctions on it, they'll fix it. Give them a call, check them out. But I'm really impressed with what they're doing at Tracked Optics. They haven't been around all that long. I don't know, five years, maybe four but uh, they just seem like real straight shooters and they're making a great product that's sold direct to the consumer. So they sell for a lot less than an equal quality scope from some of the big makers who do have that markup because they're going to retail. Now, the retail store guys can probably complain at me about that, but as a consumer, I like the lower prices. <laughs> that's the uh, Tracked Toric Ultra HD with the second focal plane reticle and that sits back here so that is not going to shrink when you dial your power down it's not going to enlarge when you dial your power up and the only drawback to that is if you are using your ballistic drop compensation you've got to keep it at top power because it is set up for 15x unless you really know these things you can use them at different settings but you then need to know which line matches up to which distance and we don't have time to get into that here but it's something worth looking into if you want to add more versatility to your rifle scope but boy for versatility i don't think you can much beat this guy everything you need in a hunting scope and it can double for a pretty effective long-range target scope in the off season i'm ron spomer and i'm impressed with these tracked toric scopes see you next time mm -hmm.